and take us off mute. There we go. All right. Okay, so uh, we'll call the meeting to order. Uh, Yes. Maybe do a roll call. Oh, yeah, roll call. So, uh, no. yeah, Rob Capone. Louis Rodriguez. Ash Chicory. And Suzanne Woodland, Deputy City Manager, also the lawyer. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess before we start, too, we do have a visitor. So, I'm wondering if perhaps to. It, you know, I guess sort of comes down to you. We, we could, she has, you would normally be under other business, which would be toward the end. If however you would like, we could move you toward the front so that you don't have to sit through the boring meeting. It's, it's entirely up to you, you know. I mean, yeah, I just move public comment forward. Right. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. So is that okay? LA, you can take a motion to, motion move. to move the uh, public comment up to uh, the item number two. Second. All right. All four. Agreed. All right. Okay. All right, so we'll move public comment right there. Okay, so best, yeah, if you could, no so, problem. Why don't you come up? And yeah, why don't you come up to the mic, mic just because yeah, it is, yeah, any just so you know, it is being we we do actually have a Zoom connection. No one ever comes, but we do as well as it is being recorded. So uh, I should watch my language. just for <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. So my name is Bess Mosley, and I live at Springbrook Condominiums, and. In the last, in recent weeks, our internet service has gone off without warning during a work day. And some of my neighbors, the service came back several or a couple of hours or several, I'm not sure how long, after it went out. And my one neighbor said, I guess he had contacted Comcast. They were doing upgrades in the area, so they had cut off service. But cutting off service to 144 units, housing people who I am sure work from home and without notice is disruptive to say the least. When they did come back on, I still did not have internet service. And initially, you know, they just want to send you the, the restarter on the automated menu that you get when you call that 800 number. Well, when none of that worked, two days later, so I'd been without internet service for two days, they sent a serviceman who determined that my modem was no longer compatible with the upgrades that had been made. So... I have an issue with maybe they could figure out how to notify people when they're going to do work that will cut people off. So that was my email. That was my issue with the internet. With email, I have an issue. Apparently, Comcast provides 10 gigabytes of storage for your emails. And for me, that is insufficient because some of it goes back 20 years of stuff that I that needs to be maintained. So, so about every week or so, I get something, an email telling me that I will no longer be able to send or receive emails until I delete something. So I am always going into the computer to delete sent emails in addition to the trash. Some of those sent emails I would rather keep for a while, but I need to keep unloading things. Now, I've been told, I haven't pursued this yet, that Gmail, which is a free email service, provides 100 gigabytes of storage. So I'm wondering if maybe Comcast would increase it and they just don't know that there are people not happy with that limit. And of course, there's no way to pose a question to anyone at Comcast. So, and then my last thing is on the television. Um, you know, you have this, my, my Comcast bill is about $230 a month. Now I use the computer every day. I do have a landline. And the TV, I probably watch 
I don't know, fewer than 10 channels, but I get 200 and something. And when I wanted to delete, I wanted to cancel Netflix, which was part of my bill. As a practical matter, you cannot delete it because my bill would go up. Because deleting it changes the package I'm on. And the new package would be $6 more than I am paying now. So those things seem unreasonable to me. And I assume it's because consumers really have no access to Comcast. And that's why Portsmouth has you folks <laughs> to provide us with some. Yeah. So unfortunately, I think in a lot of cases, we really don't have a lot of control as far as as far as billing, as far as the the uh, packages that they do provide. Um, I am prepared to uh, contact our. And this we we discussed. I right. figured I'd wait until I actually got to meet right. you in person and and hear everything. But I'm willing to um, reach out to our government relations person and just see if we could get any more information on the interruptions in service and to request more notice to the extent they have scheduled work as right. opposed to emergency work that they consider some way to push out notices. So I'm happy to make that effort. Yes. Um, as we know, sometimes it's effective and sometimes it's, you know, we'll see, but, but we've got at least, at least I have a, a communication channel. Which is perfect. Um, right. As a start. And um, I, I think to follow up on what the chair's comments are, we have very little control, um, barely even a whisper of a voice, but I'm happy to share with our government relations folks that the other two issues, um, just so they know that we have a resident who has these, you know, two concerns and we'd like them conveyed and shared. So I'm happy to, to express that. Um, I'm not optimistic that they'll change their email know, storage, but, but I'm happy to express it. And, and it's encouraging to know that there's even a way to have it expressed, really. Yeah. So I'm um, pleased. And that's yeah. in, in the consolation. I last week I uh, did the same thing. I was at home. My internet went down. I got a text maybe an hour before. And then we have a rec area. Um, there's a modem there. And it took two days for them to come change it because the modem same thing. Saying, the modem that, on the, right. in your rec area is not compatible with the new 10G signal. They're doing 10G upgrades. So, uh, so another notice issue on modems. Right. That's something right. that I'll add that to the list. Four things. Yeah. Yeah. It's also just to, to sort of further emphasize your point. Um, one of the documents that we were just looking at was the survey that we had sent out um, yeah. regarding all this. And the the availability of packages and the cost of things and how you basically can't really move freely within these things without really compromising or paying more um, is one of the things that came up multiple oh, times in oh, the comments. Good. So it's yeah. going to be definitely in, in included in our findings and, and what we're going to be reporting yes. to to good. Comcast and Xfinity. Great. Thank you. Good point. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are not alone. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Uh, we appreciate all the feedback. This is well, again, it's it's good to know that we're helping and that there's people that you know care. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm interested in the survey, so I'm gonna stay and listen. Right. But thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, is there any other, I guess, public comment specifically? Uh there is no one else on the Zoom. All right. So you can go back to your regular agenda. All righty. So uh, we'll come back to item two, which was approval of the uh, minutes for the March meeting. Yep. Everybody have a chance to look at yep. it. Okay. Yep. All right. Motion to accept the minutes. Seconded. All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right. All right. Well, let me make a note. Make sure. All right, so uh, as I mentioned to the chair, uh, Stephanie Secord, who helped us uh, greatly with getting out the survey and uh, compiled the results, we left the survey open all the way to the end of the day Monday, in part because we wanted to 
um, give time for the Springbrook residents if they were interested to complete the survey. Yep. Um, and so uh, Stephanie has compiled the results. She was planning to be here today, um, but had an emergency that has taken her away from being here today. Um, so apologies for that. We could kind of summarize if you want the, the big items, knowing that maybe we can talk more um, at the next meeting about what some of those results are. Um, so I don't know if you want me to just kind of walk through the broad results quickly, or do you want to wait until yeah, well, let's, here? let's let if you wouldn't mind, yep. unfortunately, because we only have one copy, yep. I think we'll just put it in you and you will yeah. <laughs> tell us what we're reading. I apologize for that, but I think, yeah, why don't we get, at least get a, a, yeah. a start on yeah. looking at the results? Yep. So we had, uh, yes. and, and I, I would have made more copies, but I, mm. like I said, I didn't well, know until about 10 minutes ago that I was on tap for this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we have uh, 506 responses to our survey, which actually I thought was a pretty good number, all things considered. Yeah. Um, and uh, do you, uh, most of them were Portsmouth residents. Uh, we had just six, five or six outliers. Um, and then do you currently subscribe to any Comcast Xfinity service? Um, and that was over, and I can't read this, 474 of our responses. Then there is a group about 33 of no. So they completed it. They may have another, they may have um, the fiber that consolidated right. yeah. apps. Um, and then with the within the last 12 months, have you had any disruptions in your cable TV? as in not internet or streaming service. And the yes responses were over, just over 50%, okay, I need glasses, 58%. I should have pulled this up on my computer because it's bigger on my computer. Um, and then no was about 28%. And then there was a percentage, small percentage of don't know. Um, question four, which we had, uh, da, da, da. Within the last 12 months, have you contacted Comcast Xfinity, Xfinity customer service for any reason regarding your cable TV, a not internet or streaming service? The answer is yes to about 58%. No was 38%. And then don't know was about three. If you answered yes to the previous question as to whether you've contacted customer service, how satisfied were you with the customer service response you received? And that was on a sliding scale of one to five. And the average was 2.3, which- right, and Remind me that five was the highs and- I believe was, five, five was, was the, the high. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, you know, yeah. average 2.3. So we will share that. Um, and then are you satisfied with your current um, cable TV channels package? And uh, again, we see low numbers. Um, so the, I was looking to see if it has the, oh, doesn't have the bar chart. So it didn't do the, um, what that average is, hang on. Oh, 2.3. So looks like it was 2. Point, sorry, 2.6. Where were you satisfied with customer service? 2.3. Are you satisfied with the cable TV channels package? Mm -hmm. So again, yeah. below, you know. Below, yeah. So on the one to five scale, 2.3 is not real. Right. Okay. Yes, very disappointing. Okay. Um, the one that we've had a lot of interest in, um, do you plan to renew your Comcast Xfinity cable TV, a not internet subscription when it is time? And so we had, yes was about 28%, no was about 20%, maybe was 32%. And then we had a fairly high don't know with like, that looks like 9%. So that's nine or 19. It's really small numbers. <laughs> I, I think, 
8.4. You want me to read? I can read. Oh, is your? Is yeah, I mean, if you want me to read the instead, like, well, I, uh, all of them, here. if you want, yeah, just give me the rest of them. <laughs> I'm on the back page. Sorry, if you small. Be that or yeah. anybody else, but okay, so let's see. Um, then uh, is your Comcast Xfinity cable TV subscription bundled with other services? The vast majority, 83%, said yes. So um, then uh, Comcast customer services reloaded, relocated to the Xfinity store. Have you used that new location? 32% um, said yes, and 66% said no. So again, that that would be obviously either that they are maybe need to be better at letting people know. Uh, or maybe anyway. they haven't needed to go yet. They haven't needed to go yet, which is, which is a good point. Um, if you answered yes to the previous question, how satisfied were you with the service you received at the store? Um, and the I'd say it looks like about the average is about a four. Mm -hmm. So that's positive. Yep. So. Uh, and then how satisfied are you with Comcast Xfinity overall? Uh, and let's see, the average is two, four. So pretty well. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do you think you, you may drop cable TV service, not internet? Um, I covered that one. And then, that was the 2.3. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. And then after that, there's a large number of public comments. And then at the very, I'd say half the packet is actually... Uh, names of those that chose to include their names. So, um, how much of this is going to be putting, making public knowledge? Um, so. I think we, I think it would be good if we summarize the results. I'd like to give them to um, Comcast so that they could. Look I think at them, yeah. but stripped of the names. Right, that was what I was wondering. Is like how anonymizing are we going to be? Like, yeah, I think that would definitely be well helpful. And I, I guess I'm wondering too, like with the survey information, I think. It wouldn't be a bad idea to make it public. Yeah, I think we Thanks. can find a way to package this up and right. describe it more. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. I think what I will do is, um, because this format needs some tweaking. Yes. Um, like I said, things. Um, I would imagine that we'll be able to to parse the information because obviously yep. that's just and and putting a much more a, a better report yep. type form. So definitely, we'd be happy to. I will ask her to she'd be willing to do. Yeah. Obviously, she's in the driver's seat with as far as um, amount of time, but that would be. Yeah, I think we can easily um, put together something simple, simple report that's a little easier right. than than the font we've been given here. But again, I, it was an unexpected. Oh, yeah. uh, Thank you for <laughs> for you know for flexing with yeah. their with the problems. But the good news is, I I think we got some useful data. Right. It's a good start, and we'll get it cleaned up and um, distributed to you in advance of the next meeting, and right. see what's the best way to to share that. Yep. You know, okay. we're right now. Um, Monty, uh, our new uh, communications public engagement person, okay, um, in the city manager's office, he's working on updating all of the committee pages and commission pages. So they're just a little easier to access and a little easier to find resources. So once we get that, we, in addition to you know the agreement, which is already there, the franchise agreement, which we keep up, um, we'll be able to put some results and kind of build that out a little that bit. Be, so yeah. that's coming. That'd be nice. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. one thing to have it available, but if people can find it. Yep. That, that was I'm winning. Yeah. I mean, expected. It, yeah, yeah, but I think that the yeah the data though. Yeah, I was yeah. expecting higher results, and admittedly, I feel like at times too, you may need to take the results with a grain of salt because people that are happy or you know sort of mishmash and right. may not take the time to respond to it. But um, yeah, the numbers are definitely low. Yeah, and and uh, Historically, Comcast has done its own surveys, and so generally we we share survey results, right. so to speak. Yeah, um, they usually deliver theirs to us confidentially, but you know, I have no problem with these results. So, yeah. uh, 
So I'd, I'd like vote. to see how theirs yeah. mesh with ours. So. Yeah, I don't know if they've done one recently, but often they will do one. I would every imagine they're. Years. I'm a, I just. I would imagine because that's something that is sort of discussed during the franchise renegotiation. Correct. Um, that we will be getting something hopefully, and I don't. Would it be possible to? I'm going to ask them. Prod them on that yeah. if they're planning to do one. If they have yeah. one in process. Yep. As well as admittedly, we haven't seen any other data like that we have asked. That we can know. talk about that in the non public Okay. Yep. Sure. Section of okay. Other items we might be looking at. All right. For. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's very interesting. Definitely uh, reaffirms a lot of sort of the suspicions. Um, just going through the, I, you know, unfortunately, the, uh, it's almost like the comments are the best data here <laughs> and it's not quantifiable by, by any means. Um, but the there's general trends and patterns and and you know the same type of complaints about uh, prices increasing over time, just the general high price of these things, um, the different packages that people are purchasing. Um, the it seems like although and, and we saw how the Comcast store got great, I mean com compared to the rest of the right, other right. you know got right. great reviews at a four. Uh, there's a very, uh, you know, as one person described it, they would rather get a root canal than call 1-800-COMCAST. Um, the phone support is definitely, you know, so there's definitely at least some really nice reportable items here that I think can be quantified um, and sort of just how many times they've been brought up. Um, and then as well, you know, some very specific cases, which I think are also worth looking at. Um, in particular, I, I read a couple that might be sort of specific location-based things that that maybe something that we can look into a little deeper yep. too. So that's yeah, yeah. I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied. Again, the comment section being I think the the sort of biggest source of sort of that sort of granular data and information that we we might be looking for. Yep. Good. So I'll bring back for the next meeting, hopefully a, a draft kind of report that we could put up on the website and I'll get you a package. Um, I'll just see if they can get, like I said, formatted differently. Like I said, it, it just it got right. upended today. Um, yeah. Okay. Anything else, Ash? Okay, let's move on. Move on okay, them. all right. Sorry. Uh, next item is uh, seller coverage issues and our next steps. Yep. And so that's still pending with me. Um, so I would like to have originally Jason was, oh, I think you and Jason came right. to the last meeting. So now that he is no longer um, on the committee, I didn't know, does someone else want to be part of that? Or should we just leave that with Rob to if we can schedule a conversation. Yeah, I mean, either, I'm sure I'd be included, but what, uh, so sorry, what was this scheduling conversation oh, right. with? So I actually didn't get to the meeting, but we had uh, at t Oh, that's right. No, it was Verizon. Oh, Verizon okay. who came by, uh, who they, they sent a representative and they came to meet with the city. And so it was really a meeting with the city, okay. but we, uh, but Jason was able to attend as well, okay. just to sort of discuss, you know, some of the things they're planning on in the future, as far as expanding coverage as well as expanding service okay. and where their, you know, current issues and how they're dealing with their current, uh, issues where they do have some areas that are uh, the service is not optimum right. and what we're hoping was that we could get other providers in as well but it's difficult sometimes to get them in unless you know i think having the city make the request and us being attending as well is helpful yeah and we what we found when we had our discussion with horizon um is that there were some things they were willing to share in that non-public meeting because it wasn't a public meeting, um, you know, very specifics about some issues and and where they were going to put their emphasis, um, and then not all of that information they wanted to discuss publicly. So when we talked about the meeting with Verizon, we kind of had a list of kind of like this is this is the stuff we can safely discuss in a public setting like this one. And then there was a, a some information that was asked to be maintained confidentiality. So that's why it's kind of easier if we're just having one representative or, or two, because it's only three that makes a quorum that attends a meeting like that 
just so we can kind of vet is, you know, where's that line in terms of what we can talk about publicly versus confidentially, and we get the maximum information and then figure out what is appropriate to, to bring to the yeah, full I, form. You probably have a better chance in making it than I do. Like I have uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so. um, like, could you share uh, publicly uh, some of the findings from at and or have to be not public? Um, the next step is. So we, I would try and schedule a, a meeting with the other vendors. I'd actually like an update from Verizon because they gave us a whole kind of list of things that they anticipated doing to improve coverage in some areas and it's been long enough that I'd be curious how far they are. So I see two, really two meetings right now, one with Verizon to see how they're doing on what they told us they were playing. As well as like, I don't, I don't know the specifics of what's going on under the hood, but T-Mobile is a completely separate, are they on a completely separate network as well? Yeah, we, we talked about including them as well. Yeah. Oh. Yep. So, but it's, it's, so you've got a bandwidth issue here right now. Right. No, no, no. And, and, and we appreciate that because <laughs> Suzanne has multiple, wears multiple hats. So yes, it's as much as we can get, that would be great. And if you need any yeah. help with that, I don't know if it will carry your weight, but. Yeah. That's because technically we can't speak on behalf of the city. So. <laughs> right. right. Well, and I think it's, it's obviously at least I know with, with at t at least it's the feeling I got was that. It carried a lot more weight to have the city request the meeting than for us. <laughs> so, but like I said, that's that's on my list. Yeah. I figured we we tick off what we can. All right. Survey results. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, All right. so that'll be ongoing. Yeah. Um. Under other business, um, just so you're aware, we've been having conversations with PPM TV um, and I don't want to say too much um, but just so you know that the city's been having conversations with them um, their lease was recently renewed on a month-to-month -month basis at the South Meeting House okay um, but they are looking for other space and so we've been trying to help them with that um, and there is a meeting, Ash, I believe you're next, all next set up session. for that. Yep. yep. To talk with them. There's a process by which they um, get their distributions from the cable television trust. Yep. And so the meeting that Ash is going to attend on behalf of the cable commission, he's the cable commission representative that, um, yeah, so that they can get their... Right. The money that is in the trust out of the trust for purposes of their continuing operations. Uh, next so, Thursday in this room. Yep. Yeah. So, so that's just kind of under the other business, just to know that that has been happening on on our side. Yeah. So and then at some point they will are they gonna provide a presentation to us at some point? I think the answer is they would be willing to. I think right now there's a lot of they don't know where they're going yet. Okay. And so it's been a little, they've been concentrating on that. Not piece. a problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Any other business? Thanks. No one else on the Zoom. All right. So at this point, we are going to close this public meeting to it. So. A non-public meeting to discuss other items. Uh, yeah. Thank you for for coming to visit. Can I ask one quick question before I leave? Sure. Are you able to tell how many surveys you received in the last week or so? Yeah. I, I, I can't right now, but I could ask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know we got uh, 50 yeah. since April. I know that at least because I had a copy of April's report yep. um, that I was able to see and I had 458 and you guys had about 506. So since April, we've gotten about 50 additional responses. If that kind of I, helps mentioned, I mentioned the survey in the newsletter to the 144 condos. Mm -hmm. They only got that late last week and I just wondered how many, yeah. if any, responded. But thank you very much. No, thank, thank you, you very much. You have a good evening. You too. You too. So if someone would like to make a motion to move us into non-public session for discussion with legal motion. counsel. Motion. Favor. 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 Favor.